Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Received a uh, eBay delivery this morning. Wanted to do a reveal for my next video. So here is the case from eBay. Let's see what we have here. There it is, 1933 Gaudi Jimmy Fox rookie card. Let me get this out of the case here. I'll put it on the display stand. So Jimmy Fox, one of the players that uh, picked up as part of my greatest of all time rookie collection. If you guys aren't familiar with uh, with Jimmy Fox, he one of the best power hitters of all time. He uh, I would say actually one of the best all around baseball players of all time. He was a rookie at 18. He played 20 seasons in the majors for teams like the A's, Red Sox, Cubs, and Phillies. Um, he primarily played first base, but also played third and catcher when needed. And I would say he's probably considered one of the best right-handed power hitters of all time. Definitely best right-handed power hitter of his day. Only, only player that was nearly in the same vicinity of powerful during his playing years was Babe Ruth, who obviously was the lefty. Jimmy Fox, nine-time All-Star, three-time MVP. He won the Triple Crown in 1933. 48 home runs, 169 RBIs with a 356 batting average. He led the league in home runs four times and led the league in batting average twice. His overall numbers were pretty incredible, right? 1,751 runs scored, 23rd of all time. He had 2,646 hits lifetime. He had 100... 25 triples which puts him 90th all time which isn't which is still really good and just to put in perspective his 125 triples in his career is about 50 percent more than dexter fowler has who's the current active leader who's played about as many seasons as jimmy fox played i uh, had 534 career home runs putting him 19th all time right behind the mick 1922 rbis so he's 10th all time in rbis he had a lifetime batting average of 325, so he's 45th all time, which, as you know, is considerably higher than any active player today, um, especially any active power hitter today. His OPS was fifth all time at 1.035, behind only Babe Ruth, Ted Williams, Lou Gehrig, and Barry Bond. So not a bad group to be part of, right? His uh, on base percentage was a 426, it puts him 13th all time. And the slugging percentage of 609 puts him fourth all time, only behind Ruth, Ted Williams, and Lou Gehrig. So most lists of the greatest players of all time have Jimmy Fox in the top 25. And I wouldn't question that. I think he definitely deserves to be in the top 25 players of all time. I'm really excited to get his rookie card as part of the, uh, as part of the collection, especially from the 1933 Gaudi set, one of my favorite sets of all time. And just as kind of a side, as we, before we finish up the video, his name is actually spelled J-I-M-M-I-E, but uh, Gaudi spelled it incorrectly on the card. So in case anybody's seen that and they're wondering why his name doesn't doesn't look right, it's because they, it was misspelled on the Gaudi card. It's not necessarily an error because they never corrected it. But uh, yeah, J-I-M-M-I-E. So that's Jimmy Fox, one of the greatest players of all time, one of the greatest power hitters of all time, especially when he played, right? Because when he was a when he was a player, power hitting really wasn't a thing, right? You had Babe Ruth, and there was really nobody else until until Jimmy Fox started playing and we started hanging with the likes of Ruth and Gehrig from a power hitting perspective. So that's uh, that's our video. Thanks for tuning into the channel. Thanks.